Hey bakers, I'm Justin Jacobs here at the Baking Buddy Kitchen and today I'm going to be showing you how to make Parmesan cups. Now one of my favorite things about Parmesan cups is they're super easy to make and they're delicious. So they're really great to show off to your friends, show off to your family. I can't wait to share this recipe with you guys. Okay bakers, so we're going to start our ricotta filling while the oven is preheating. We're just going to start out with some ricotta and some Parmigiana cheese for some flavor. Just give it a nice good stir. You know what? I'm actually thinking we need a little bit more Parmesan cheese. I like mine really nice and cheesy. You want quite a bit of Parmesan cheese in here because we're not adding any salt. Now for creaminess, we're going to add cream cheese. I'm just going to go ahead and mix like that. Now we're just going to add some sun-dried tomatoes. I love the sun-dried tomato because it gives it a nice little taste of sweetness. We tear off some basil. There's like two things in the world that are better than the smell of fresh basil. There we go. Now we're just going to get a nice little stir. Look at that color. All right, now that our filling is done, we're going to go ahead and start on our Parmesan cups. All right, now to make our Parmesan cups, literally all we need is Parmesan cheese. We're gonna go ahead and take our Baking Buddy measurements and measure out about five inches in diameter. We're gonna sprinkle our Parmesan cheese. You're gonna wanna make sure you get it really nice and covered. If you don't have a thick enough layer, your cheese is just gonna fall apart. So don't be afraid to go just a little bit heavy. You want something nice and sturdy that you're gonna be able to work with. These are awesome to make on our baking buddy because literally this melted cheese is not going to stick at all to this mat. It's just going to fall right off. Now that our Parmesan is nice and evenly distributed, we can go ahead and stick it in the oven. So this is the point that timing is important, taking it out of the oven at the right time. You want to get it just when it's melted, but not after it's hardened. If we put it in too long, then the cheese is going to get too hard and it's not going to fit into our mold. Alright, so let's go ahead and stick it in the oven. Now you're going to want to go ahead and find two ramekins that are going to fit nice and neatly in each other to make our cups. This is right whenever you want to take it out of the oven, right as it's just starting to bubble and get melty, but not before it gets too hard. Now we could not have done this so easily without our baking buddy. It's a non-stick silicone surface for your baking pans that provides you the perfect medium to bake on. It also has everything a baker needs, like measurements, metric conversions, and a standard cookie recipe printed right on the surface. The silicone evenly distributes heat so that you get the same quality of baking that you could only get with an expensive industrial oven. In fact, you can click right over here and watch a quick video that shows you all of the other amazing things your baking buddy can do. Alright, now this part, timing is crucial. The trick to getting these Parmesan cups right is waiting until the cheese is cooled long enough so that it's sturdy and durable. Take your spatula around the side and if it still seems a little bit too loosey-goosey, give it a few more seconds to cool down. If the cheese is too hot, then it's going to be too loose and it's going to be too fragile and it's not going to hold its form. If it's too cool, then it's going to be too hard to actually fit and mold into the cups. So you want to make sure that you find it at the right Goldilocks zone. Alright, it's getting a little bit sturdier, but I still want just a little bit more. Look, the cheese is not sticking at all to this mat. We're still going to give it just a little bit longer to cool. Now once you can go with your finger and safely touch it and pick it up, that's how you know it's done. Look at that. Look how easily that just comes off. So we're just going to take it off, and we're going to stick this right over here into our little cups. Just like that. And then we'll take our other one, we'll place it right over there, just set it in place. That's exactly how you want it. Now we're going to go ahead and put this back in the oven and let it cook until it's nice and hard and settled in its shape. So our Parmesan cups just came out of the oven and we want to follow the same rule. The same way we wanted to wait for them to cool down before we peel them off our baking buddy, we want to let them cool down a little bit before we take them out of our ramekins. Now if you don't have a baking buddy, that's alright. You're going to want to just put it on some parchment paper and you're going to want to spray it with some chemical spray and get it really, really nice and non-stick. That way you can peel your cheese off with ease. Alright, so I think our cups are just about cool now and we're just going to go just very carefully, just loosen it up and pull it out with our fingers, just like that. And there you have it, look at that. A beautiful Parmesan cup. We're gonna go ahead and take our filling, put it right over there, make sure your fingers are clean. For a little garnish, we're gonna top it with some more sun-dried tomatoes. And then stick this little guy right on the top. And look at that, a beautiful Parmesan cup. 
These things are so fantastic, they taste great. Just imagine having one of these as an appetizer at your next party. Thanks again for joining me in the Baking Betty kitchen today. I had so much fun making this with you guys. Now I'm gonna get out of the way so I can finish eating this. See you guys next week. Thanks again for joining me in the kitchen today. If you had as much fun as I did, make sure you hit that subscribe button so I can see you next week. Also, leave me a comment letting us know what we should bake. If we use your suggestion, we'll make sure to give you a shout out. But why stop there? Let's keep this party going. You can click on either side of me for more video recipes, or if you want to learn a little more about our baking buddy, you can click right below me to see a quick video that shows you how it all works. Also, you can join us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest where you'll find more recipes, more tips, and pictures of the amazing creations that you've sent us. Remember, our community is not complete without you. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next week.